Hello, it's One Puncher here, playing Card Hunter. So, last time out I got through High Mountain Pass, I'm now going to leap into the Shrine of the Astral Guardians. Well, I say leap in, I'm probably just going to use the door normally, and then I might saunter in and then realise how hard the enemies are, and then I'll possibly drop my saunter, maybe a brief swagger, and then just, um, well, just, you know, roll. Um, literally roll, tucking my heads. You know, that's tuck my heads, hold my legs up, that's, that's just how I roll. Um, Feel free to use your own methods. Right. Okay, so we've got Victory Square, so I should probably look at this because I haven't actually played this before. So we've got Victory Squares. They start in them. There are four of them. So they outnumber us, but they've only got one card deck, although they draw four cards a turn. But I outdraw them, seeing as I draw six between my players. So I need to keep oh I need to keep her out of the way because she's got two raging strikes. Let's do that. I don't know what they do. Okay, so they do ranged attacks. Okay, so he can see. Can he see? Yes, he can see her. Oh, he can see her. Right, okay. Well, let's move the wizard up. I want to take out one of them quickly so that I can, at the very least, um, reduce... Well, reduce their card draw and also keep... Okay, well, he's moved on. That's fine. I've only got two cards left. Let's drop one of those in. Hope they don't move. Okay, they don't move. That's fine. Okay, they get a victory point. That's acceptable. Uh, I'm going to discard one of the Raging Strikes so that she's not a walking, self-detonating missile. Okay, Spark Inductor. Right, I could well win the enemies, but uh, it's tempting. Um, uh, let's mass Frenzy first, and then wait for them to use their movement, and then, then we will... Uh, so let's move him into here. Okay, they've moved into close combat. Don't really like that. Let's hit him. Armor four. Okay, well he took three damage. She's passed. Well, that would kill him. Um. Yeah, I'm quite tempted to leave it with that. Move him up there. Okay, deadly spark. That's fine. We're going to have to deal with that. Then heal the wizard because he's a little bit hurt. Okay, I get the feeling I should have passed when I originally passed. I take it he's out of actions. No more actions. No more actions. No more actions. No more actions. So they are going to pass. So, knowing that they've got no more actions, I might as well pass so that I retain the advantage going into the next round. Um, it's probably been people screaming out for me to do that, but <laughs> it's the first time I've noticed that <laughs> my enemies have all used their movement. Right, okay. He's taken four damage. He's a little bit hurt. So... I could do that, but I don't really want to. Move her up here. See what happens. Right, they move into combat. That's fine. Raging Strike. So he should now be dead. Okay, he is actually dead. Right, that's fine. So now we are on an even footing with them. We have three, they have three. So, I'm going to try and move my characters all onto victory squares. So starting here. Okay, then I... Can I move her? No, I can't. Okay, well, let's charge him. Okay. And... I could Firestorm, but I'm going to take a lot of damage from doing it. I can't do that. I can shuffle team, so I might as well. And shuffle there, and shuffle her there. Okay, so we're going to be trying to kill him fairly rapidly. They have got some good armour. I think I'm going to... I could just whirlwind the enemies and see where they end up. Let's do it. Okay, so there's only one of them in the victory squares. But I'm now next to one of them. Okay. Alright, oh, he didn't have... his armour didn't work. Okay, and then we chop him. Wow, so we've killed another one of them. I can't hotspot there. He can see me. Oh no, he can't see me, but he can. No, he can't. Okay, well, let's pass. Right. We get a victory point. Discard Raging Strike. Okay, so it's looking a bit better than it was. Okay, I had to say that. And then let's dart him into there. Okay, so he's a little bit close. Okay, he's gone. Right. I don't really want to Firestorm, so let us heal. Okay, so it's two on two now. I can't hit him with... I can hit him with that. 
Okay, they've passed. That's fine. Move the wizard here, so it's still in the victory square. And then let us hotspot you. Okay, and I could fire storm, but it's going to leave my wizard a little bit hurt. So I'm then, because I know he's going to move off there next turn, I'm going to drop that on him. Okay, and then discard that. <clears throat> okay, his armor kicks in. Now he's left around. Okay. Well, he seems to be going insane. Okay, Dimensional Traveller. Then we've got Cone of Cold, but that won't really do anything. Let's... Um, hmm, not quite sure which one to go with. Let's leap the wizard across into this battle. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. I'm now going to shoot you because you can't get into the victory zones. So you're now movement reduced. He's now jumped out of the victory square. So I'm... how many actions has he got? No more actions. No more actions. Well, I'm going to pass them. Okay, so we've got through that just about. That was a bit tricky. Um, I'm interested to see what other enemies there are in this seemingly chest-based or chest based even. I think the chest that I was opening at the time. Okay. I get the feeling. Okay, right, so, so we've got some rooks now up in our grill. Okay, so who do we want to shoot first? Well, we want to shoot you, because you're right next to us. Okay, I don't really have anything that makes them discard or dissolves armor anymore. So that is against me. Demonic feedback on you. Just for the two additional cards. Move you up here. Right, he's passing, that's fine. Okay. Well I've set him on fire, but his armor absorbed most of it. Then let us well let's no, they can move still. Are they the yeah, they're the gardens of mist. Okay. So I don't really want to do anything like that. Okay, then shuffle you around here. Well, I'm not quite sure how to play this one. Move him there. <coughs> okay, then wall of fire on this guy. And then I'll accept the pass because I like that guy to take a lot more damage and I don't want to risk him moving off there. And then let's move him here. Okay. Right, so we do have another wall of fire straight away. I can't get my warrior into combat. Okay, and how do I want to play this? Well, let's heal the warrior a little bit. <clears throat> then she hasn't got really got anything that... Let's try and adapt it and try and shoot him with that so that he starts thinking that he wants to uh, get into melee with me. Move the wizard up to here. Well, that seems crazy. Okay, and then we will wall of fire on this one. This area here. They've passed. Well, that's fine. I will also pass. Get rid of weak chop and a spiked mail and run. Although mobility is probably an advantage. Right, so his. Okay. Where do we want to go? Well, that guy's right next to me. So I probably want to reduce the distance, or increase the distance between them. Okay. Well, one set of their armor worked. Right. So we've got a mighty spark hitting us. Let's head up here. Okay, powerful spark. It's taking a lot of damage. Okay. Their plates didn't work, which was a lucky, lucky bonus for us. And let's chop him. Okay, and when his plates did work that time. Right. I don't, oh, I can shuffle the team. I'm just using the theory that in chess they attack in straight lines, so I get the feeling that's probably going to be what they do, so I'm trying to avoid that. Um, but I, I could be totally wrong, but that's what I assume they'll do. So let's spray him with acid. Okay, and then let's move her up here. 
Okay, and then less piles, because one of them's in the acid, and that will get rid of their armor. Uh, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Okay, so that should hopefully make them... Uh, yes, we want to move away. Okay, so they've had to get rid of their armor, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, to just end them. Or at least do a bit of damage while we can. So he's on full health. I'd like to get rid of him because he's quite close and he's got a visual on everyone. Okay, so that's down on my wizard. They can still move, so I'm going to dart my wizard in here because he hasn't really got anything that offensive. Okay, and... I could move him up there. Well, let's go for it. Let's, let's get him in there. Okay, so he's coming in shot. That's fine. Then he's going to chop him. Right, and that guy's trying to close distance. Um, let's move her to here. Okay, he's also trying to move in now. I'm going to pass, I think. Okay, get rid of one of the war cries. Uh, bludgeoners, I'm less likely to use that. Raging Strike, as I think I've got damage about to come in. We add Treading Strike, because it's not massive chop. Okay. Right, Spark Generator, that's good. We do have Firestorm, but that would kill my warrior if he doesn't heal. And I don't know how many... He's probably going to have to get away. I can retreat him. That's probably the safest thing to do. Okay, then we heal him, rather than attack and get one attack out of him, and that's it. Okay, so that didn't kick off. Right, let's jump in, jump in here. Okay, please stop shooting me. Although, admittedly, they've only got one card left. Right, but now one of them's dead. Okay. I could firestorm. Um, it's probably a good idea. Possibly. <laughs> I don't really... I, I'm really worried about these guys. I think they're going to be quite horrific. So, let, let yeah, let's do it. Let's get rid of them. Okay. Three damage. Four. <laughs> okay, so that's a bit more damage to everyone. Pass now. Okay, get rid of war cry. Get rid of that. Get rid of movement. And get rid of... Fire spray because I don't know if these guys got armor, but the lesser versions of them do, or these guys do. Okay. Right. Well, so she now probably needs. She she hasn't got any attacks, so I don't quite know what I'm going to do with her. I'm going to move her in here so that she's at least out of the way of the other guys. Okay takes one less damage but still ideally we do need her to draw on the card. I don't know what they're oh they're probably going to be pretty horrific let's go in. Rook Blast <laughs> okay. oh my god seven damage and they got blocks okay damn it okay I should possibly have moved him out of the way rather than push for it I don't quite know how I'm going to do this one. Okay. Oh, well, I'm pretty much dead, aren't I? Well, let's hotspot him. Okay, he's moved out. Let's acid blast him. And then, how much health are you on? You're on... Oh, damn it. Annoyingly... Well, let's go for him. So if I'm not going to kill him, I might as well not go for him. Okay. Well, I guess the limitations are that they can only shoot in straight lines. So if I don't fight them in a straight line, then I've kind of got them where I want them. So Kona Cold, this way, that hits both of them, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, getting sparked. Right, so let us uh, Deadly Spark on this guy, because he can do more ranged attacks and everything. Okay. And then let's run the wizard away. Not in a straight line from him. Okay, he can't move off there. So let's pass. So that's one of them down. Uh, get rid of that. I should probably have kept the attack, but really hoping I draw 
some sort of uh, healing. I didn't. Okay, let's move the wizard to here. And then let's acid spray him and hope he doesn't block it. Okay, he does. Okay, that's the wizard gone. But he might not be able to move off there. Let's pass, see what he does. Okay, well that should be it. That should be him gone. Okay, so hopefully he'll take the three damage. Okay, well that was that was tough. Um, got through it though. And on to the final battle. Okay, so I need to be aware when I'm fighting those guys not to stay in a straight line of them, not to use movement before them because that limits me. Okay, so I guess we've now got the... <laughs> I've now got the bishops. <laughs> so they are probably going to attack in diagonals. Right, well Firestorm would be a nice start. Let's go with it. They can't see me. Okay, it's a bit of damage to them. Right, and see where they end up. Okay, heal the wizard. Okay, he can't kind of cold, he can't see through all that. Um, I'm going to pass. No, inspiration on the wizard. Okay, resistant height, that's very handy. Right, so what do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of that and that, and that, and kind of cold as it's not effective for this map. Uh, move him here. Doesn't take any damage. Okay. Right, we've got Slicer, so we're doing a lot more damage in uh, with Chops. And then let us use Help Weak to heal a bit. He's par, or oh, she's past even. Aaron's past. Right, then let's dart round here. Trying to close distance with this guy. In fact, let's let's go for that with everyone. And then let's wild run, get, get into combat with this guy. Okay. Okay, and that I think is that. Yep, let's pass. Okay. Right, get rid of Leather Harness and... Uh, I don't know, that's quite tough. Deadly Spark. So I'd better hit with that hot spot, otherwise I've uh, just <laughs> done myself out of some damage. Okay. So, what can we see? Well, we can't see anyone. I could move up to here, but... Oh, no, because it's going to be diagonally from... Okay. Okay, I've probably lost my warrior now, but I've got the chop chance, so I had to take it. Okay, and then let's go for another one, because these guys are probably going to be the tougher ones. I don't have shuffle team, so I can't get anyone out of there. Um, where can I get her into? I can get her into there. Okay, who did cave in? I'm not quite sure who did it, but it was pretty horrible. And then let's move him up this way. Okay, I can't acid blast and get anyone. I can hotspot, and they have moved. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Okay, and then acid uh, knives on him. And then let's pass. Okay, I was going to say, why well, hadn't he horrifically maimed me? Okay, he's still at a distance of that. Okay, well, <laughs> we're alive. Um, whether that continues to be the case is, well, neither here nor there. Okay, so one of them pretty injured. Let's spray a bit more acid to reduce their movement around the place, I guess. No. Let's not. Inspiring Presence would aid them. Can Unholy Frenzy him? Okay, damn it. Oh, damn it. That's really not worth doing. So now I've given him a bonus without any negative penalty. So I'm going to move here so I'm now not diagonally from any bishop. And then slice and hope it gets through the armor. It does always work, that's the armor. 
Right, then we're going to... Well, I might as well Path of Knives him. And... Okay, so where can I go that isn't direct? Directly diagonal, so I can go here. Let's do it. Okay, then we'll acid spray in this direction. Okay, his armor. That armor always bloody works. Right. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Right, let's dart back there. Okay, and I might as well use up my second acid spray just for the damage. And on the off chance that that guy doesn't block it, but never mind, he does. And then let's pass. Okay, discard one of the raging strikes, as to be honest, they've only just caused her damage. Okay, one of them down. We've got rid of the guy's armor. Got a cave in happening. So our movement's going to be restricted. Uh, let's war cry on. No, let's not, because we might be able to do something better than that. Let's shoot him. Okay. Well, that's the warrior gone, but to be honest, this wasn't really the ideal fight for him. And if I inspiring presence now, no, it still gets still gets everyone but the ones I want. Okay, so let's move her around here. Okay, annoyingly I haven't got any more attacks as him. If I, no, that gets no one now. And I don't want to move into that square, even though it gives give me an advantage because I will take more damage. So let's pass. Okay, I'm not diagonally from anyone, so we'll pass. I'm still not diagonally from, okay. I can move the here though, now. Right. Okay, and now I can inspire in presence and heal three hit points and draw a card. Okay. Now we'll pass. I hope they do as well. Okay, get rid of Shuffle Team, get rid of that. Um, get rid of Raging Strike. I don't think she's going to need it. Wish I discarded that at the start because <laughs> then she'd be on a bit more hit points. Okay. Well, let's charge him. Okay, then limited heal on her. Okay, and then that guy's fairly well off still. I'm gonna hit him with the Sorcerer's Bolt to reduce the Bishop's card draw. And then shoot him. And then move in and hit him, hopefully. Okay, I'm now going to hit him with an Unholy Frenzy. Just for the one damage. And pass. Okay, so we should... I think we've got this wrapped up. Uh, in fact, now we do. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so he's going to take two damage at the end of the turn, so he's effectively dead. So I just need to keep one of my characters alive, but it would be nice if I could kill him beforehand. So, let's dart in here and then stab him in the face. Okay, well, we got through it. That's that adventure complete. Uh, see what we get. Ooh, a bit more XP. Ooh. Okay, rare item. That's quite good. Add three to block rolls against this attack. Okay, so it's easy to block. But it is range two. No. It does count as slashing. Is that for only... Ooh, wrong character. Does that only affect chops or is it any slashing attacks? Okay, it is only chops. Well, that's not as impressive as it initially could have been. Encounter. Oh, okay, there is another mission that I was unaware of, so return to the Astral Shrine. So, we've got these uh, four missions that I know of, and then I think it's that. So, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you like more, you know, you know, um, you know how to use YouTube. <laughs> so, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.